water contains so-called forever chemicals. A national study recently released by the U.S. Geological Survey shows that a group of chemicals known as PFAS were commonly found in private wells and more frequently found in urban areas, especially in California, the Great Lakes, the Great Plains, and the Eastern Seaboard. The chemicals are commonly used in consumer products and have been linked to cancer, thyroid disease, and other illnesses. Earlier this year, the EPA announced an effort to restrict and regulate forever chemicals. Purchasing a water filter could also help reduce those risks. That's your Healthy Minutes. I'm Morgan Wood on your home for 24-7 News. The Black Information Network and BINnews.com. Headlines every 30 minutes. Breaking news at once on the Black Information Network. The Bay Area's BIN 910. In 1949, station WDIA in Memphis, Tennessee became the first to employ an all-black on-air announcing staff. Broadcasting blues, gospel, and various talk programs. Acquiring the right to broadcast at a higher wattage. The station boosted their signal from 250 to 50,000 watts and was now capable of reaching as far north as Missouri and as far south as the Gulf Coast. That range included about 10% of the black population of the United States, which in turn garnered substantial advertising revenue. Influencing every black radio station to follow, WDIA assigned itself the moniker, the Mother Station of Negroes. It also earned the nickname the Goodwill Station because it broadcast public service bulletins. Later that year, WERD in Atlanta began broadcasting as the first black-owned radio station. Powerful AM stations such as WLAC in Nashville began broadcasting black-oriented news and rhythm and blues music across entire regions of the United States, drawing both black and white audiences. But that's a fact. I'm Big Sue on the Black Information Network. 9:10 a.m. KKSF Oakland, the Black Information Network. Tell your smart device to play Bay Area BIN 910 on iHeart Radio. I'm Doug Davis, and here's the latest from the Black Information Network. A fire at a Texas church is being investigated as a possible arson. Flames torched the Christ Redeeming Community Church in San Antonio, which serves a historically black neighborhood. Giant fans are being used today to get the smoke out. No injuries were reported. A new report claims President Biden is quick to anger and often yells at aides in the White House. According to Axios.com, Biden is prone to using profanity to dress down staffers behind closed doors. The report notes Biden's private outbursts stand in sharp contrast to his kinder, gentler public image. Americans may be dealing with flight issues to start their week. Flight Aware reports more than 3,300 flights have been delayed within, into, or out of the U.S. so far on Monday. Meantime, over 500 flights have been canceled across the country. And that is the latest. I'm Doug Davis from the Black Information Network and BINnews.com. And I'm Kevin Brown on your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. Attorney Ben Crump joining the family of Darby on Hudspeth in a news conference calling for transparency about what unfolded just moments before Hudspeth was killed. Hudspeth's mother speaking with Fox 13. He wanted to get home. He was so close to home. I just hope it was quick. I hope it didn't suffer because I know he was there. Crump and the family calling for Sheriff Floyd Bonner and the Shelby County, Mississippi's Sheriff's Department to release body cam and dash cam video of the neighborhood traffic stop that led to Hudspeth's death under a cloak of subsequent questions. More details about a mass shooting in Philadelphia last week. Police say the first of five victims was most likely killed about 44 hours before the others. Police used data from a local medical examiner's office to determine that 31-year-old Joseph Wombard Jr. was gunned down on July 2nd. 40-year-old Kim Brady Kerr Riker then randomly opened fire the following day in a neighboring community southwest of Center City, killing four other people and wounding two children. He's charged with five counts of murder and attempted murder, possession of a weapon without a license, and carrying a firearm in public. The city of Memphis attempting to stop a civil lawsuit filed by Tyree Nichols' mother and his estate. The motion was filed saying the city was not responsible for Nichols' death, adding that it was five rogue police officers. 
Nichols was beaten by Memphis police during a traffic stop and died from his injuries days later. In the lawsuit, the city says that it does not condone the actions of the officers, but adds that the city itself should not be held liable. Nichols' mother filed the $550 million lawsuit against the city, officers, and police chief. I'm Morgan Wood on the Black Information Network. The Clarence Thomas saga continues. As it appears, the black justices' undisclosed wealthy connections go beyond billionaire GOP megadona and Nazi enthusiast Harlan Crow. The New York Times reports that Thomas used his relationship with Scholarship Association, the Horatio Alger Association of Distinguished Americans, to score VIP events and luxury vacations. Some of the elite freebies included mixing it up with Oprah Winfrey and Edna Fads during an exclusive three-day birthday celebration in Montana for billionaire industrialist Dennis Washington and enjoying the Florida waterfront estate of former Berkshire Hathaway investor David Sokol. A lawsuit that was looking for reparations related to the 1921 Tulsa race massacre has been dismissed. The case was filed on behalf of the last three survivors of the assault which was carried out by a white mob in a Tulsa community called the Black Wall Street of the time. Roughly 300 black people were killed in that incident and Oklahoma judge dismissing it last week with prejudice saying she agreed with the defendants who argued the plaintiffs did not suffer individual effects from the massacre. For more on these stories and international, national, state, and local news affecting the black community, listen to the Black Information Network on the iHeartRadio app or log on to BINnews.com. On social media, follow the BIN on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Black Information Network and on Twitter at Black InfoNet. I'm Terry McCready along with Kevin Brown on your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. Time now for traffic and weather. On the Bay Area BIN 910. Let's take another look at that ride through San Francisco on northbound 101. Traffic slowing down right at Cesar Chavez. That's going to carry you up to the Central Freeway. Some good news. Northbound 101 heading toward the Golden Gate Bridge. We had some sluggish traffic on your approach to the span. That slowdown has disappeared, but you will see more slow traffic on northbound 101. Starting at the Tiburon exit, that's going to carry you up to Sir Francis Strait. A look at the Richmond San Rafael Bridge on eastbound 580. That's going to be slow from Sir Francis Drake I out to mid span like of the bridge. We're also seeing heavy traffic on the East Shore Freeway with eastbound 80 slowing down at 880. From there, you'll be slow in stretches up to Highway 4. Going to be clear tonight. Lows in the 50s, sunny and mild tomorrow. Highs ranging from the 60s at the beaches to the 80s inland. With Bay Area traffic and weather, I'm Rick Batiste on the Black Damn, Information the Network. This is so cool. Black news in 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes. This is BIN, the Black in Bay Area. BIN 910. I'm Vanessa Tyler. In for Natasha Williams. On your home for 24-7 News. San Francisco's BIN 910. Pressure Police Department, search warrant, open the door. This is going to end deadly, as Richmond police warn whoever is in the house to come out. They go room to room back on June 28th. Just released body cam shows the last bedroom was where Kevin McDonald was waiting. The 66-year-old sitting on the bed, police say, aiming an AR-15 style rifle, locked and loaded. With that, McDonald was dead. Police chief, African-American Visa French, says the gun he was holding was not the only one in the house. They found a mother load, including more than 1,000 rounds of ammo, a live pineapple-shaped hand grenade, and the chief says lots of other weapons. A subsequent search of the residence resulted in the recovery cool. of 53 firearms. Nice tattoo. 48 Very of cool. those firearms were recovered in Mr. So McDonald's stupid. bedroom. Gotcha. So 17 of which were both sent. Police that suspect he was manufacturing cool. and selling the guns. McDonald, who was a felon, wasn't even on their radar. They were there to get a couple of weapons belonging to his roommate when the police-involved shooting went down. Help is needed to find an arsonist on the loose in Gilroy. Police say evidence shows a rash of suspicious fires recently were set on purpose. No one was hurt, but property was damaged at several locations across the city. Anyone with information is urged to call police.
A Bay Area family is dealing with the worst kind of tragedy. Their two-year-old is dead, dying right outside her home after being run over by a car. Vallejo police say a family friend was backing out of the driveway when she felt she hit something. The driver and others rushed the toddler to the hospital, but it was too late. Police have ruled out drugs or alcohol. This is the city's third deadly traffic crash of the year. Your kids will be riding electric. The state announced millions will go to upgrade regular old gas polluting buses to EV school buses. It's a collaboration between the California Air Resources Board and the California Energy Commission. California currently has more than 560 clean school buses on the roads, and more than 1,200 are in the process of being built. The state is aiming to reach net zero carbon pollution by the year 2045. The open seas are waiting after summer vacation was temporarily put on hold for 3,300 travelers who had to stay docked when their cruise ship, the Ruby Princess, hit Pier 27 while docking, causing damage to the vessel and the pier. The big ship is being checked out and once given the okay, will set to the ocean again. Destination, Alaska. For more local, state, national, and international news impacting the black community, listen to the Black Information Network on the iHeart Radio app or log on to BINnews.com. I'm Vanessa Tyler in for Natasha Williams on your home for 24 7 News, San Francisco's BIN 910. The United Negro College Fund is one of the nation's leading advocates for the importance of minority education and community engagement. Lend your support at uncf.org. That is uncf.org. Black business news every 30 minutes on BIN, the voice of black... The Bay Area's BIN 910. This is Wes Intershome with another essential black film. What started as a suggestion from Maya Angelou to the government of Ghana ended with an Independence Day concert on March 6, 1971. Featuring Wilson Pickett, Ike and Tina Turner, Les McCann and Eddie Harris, The Staple Singers, Santana featuring Willie Bobo, Roberta Flack, and the voices of East Harlem. The movie Soul to Soul not only captures performances from these iconic artists, but their personal journey connecting to their roots, ancestral homeland, and history. Transformational for many of the artists whose only understanding of Africa came from Hollywood tropes, but also for the country of Ghana that would experience Western music firsthand for the first time. Soul to Soul captures artists and audience united by a history of oppression and the music used to overcome it, making it another essential black film. I'm Wesson Kishom for the Black Information Network. Call the Black Information Network hotline and let us know what's happening in your community. 855-500-9-E-I-N. Black Journalism at Work. Golf legend James Black, who fought for the right to play golf in the 1950s in the uh, South, died. 24 7 News from our perspective. The state of Delaware will provide money in the form of grants to help reduce overdose deaths in the African American community. If it's important to our community, Detroit officials are asking for the public's help to decrease gun violence. It's on the Black Information Network. The Bay Area's BIN That's not how you drive. on the iHeartRadio app. A special thank you to CBS Pharmacy. A, a proud founding partner who shares and supports the mission of the Black Information Network. I sag on that guy. Didn't catch the latest oh, Roland nice Martin unfiltered podcast. Here's high. what you missed. Very high places guy. Where well, they voted for Trump and didn't vote for Biden and say, this is how we made your life better. It's real, it's raw. Roland Martin unfiltered. The fact that you're carrying the mantle for a conviction shows you have ulterior motives. And those are ulterior motives are keeping a black man behind bars. Download the Stupid Roland Martin man. unfiltered podcast on the iHeartRadio app and catch Roland Martin's daily commentary on the Black Information Network. Russell Wilson here. We play 60. United oh, Way in the NFL. Stop her. Nothing should play at least 50 minutes a day. To get involved, yeah, I think that's so. United Way is our boy. Play 60. Are you going to do that every time? Yeah, yeah. they're not so pain. Brought to you by United Way and the ad Because news yeah. can happen anywhere, anytime. The Black.
Black Information Network hotline is available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 855-500-9-PIN. The opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints expressed in this commentary are those of the author and do not necessarily represent those of BIN and its founding partners and employees. I'm Mo Kelly on BIN with your two minute warning. David Axelrod, former That's not how you drive. Obama, tweeted Friday that Dr. Cornel West could help send Donald Trump back to the White House. Each election, there's always concern about the impact of a third party candidate like Ralph Nader, Ross Perot, Strom Thurmond, John Anderson, Pat Buchanan, Jill Stein, Gary Johnson, you know the name. They've represented all ends of the political spectrum over the years, but none of them have ever or will ever sniff the Oval Office. As a practical matter, it is difficult to qualify to appear on ballots in all 50 states or to get adequate campaign funding and by extension so ground time. campaign infrastructure third party candidates are rarely invited to nationally televised presidential debates uh, with top candidates of the major parties but they can garner like enough votes in a purple state the here or there Easter. for donald trump to yeah. emerge victorious and swing an it's electoral small. count how arguably jill stein oh, did in 2016 and ralph nader in 2000. dr cornell west and i I have known each other personally for almost 20 years. I say that not as a boast, but as someone who is intimately familiar with his gravitas and respect he carries in certain political circles. Other candidates would avoid debating him with good reason. He is a rhetorical wizard, and West will garner this decent cable news coverage on all the cable no, networks. In short, he would be a problem. Oratory is more powerful than actual civil well, servants bona fide days these days. He is a champion of the people and a truth teller, but a champion who can't win in a nation in love with lies. I am no, proud no. to call Dr. West a personal mentor, but Axelrod is right. West could very well hand Donald Trump she? the Oval Office. Who I'm Mo Kelly, at she? Mr. Mo Kelly on social I'll media, and that's your two minute warning on the person. Black Information so, Network. To argue with people. Yep. Your story is our story. This is VIN, the Black Very, uh, Information Network. I'm Doug Davis, and here's what's trending. Summer gas prices have held steady nationwide. Oh, Triple H Brian Warner says this is a welcome change from the traditional so summer spike. The nationwide average is around 3.54. And that's what's trending from the Black Information Network. That guy's shorts right there. Sports on the Black Information Network. Victor Wimbenyama is getting some NBA action after making his summer league debut for the San Antonio Spurs this past weekend. Bill Shoning, who is the voice of the Spurs, says the team will be patient in developing their 19-year-old star. This is a guy who I think has got a very, very bright future, and I don't think they're going to skip any steps with this guy. They want to make sure that uh, he develops the right way. Shoning goes on to say the Spurs are excited to grow around Wimbenyama. Obviously, the future is very, very bright. The excitement is uh, palpable right now. The French basketball prodigy joins a team that includes many players in their second or third year. When Banyama was selected first overall in the 2023 NBA draft. Elsewhere in basketball news, the Minnesota Timberwolves have locked down one of their two second round draft picks. The team signed Leonard Miller to a four-year contract over the weekend. Miller was the 33rd overall pick in the NBA draft this year. He scored 16 points and had 11 rebounds during Minnesota's 102-88 Summer League win over the Pelicans on Friday. The Wolves will continue Summer League play. And Jay Crowder is returning to the Milwaukee Bucks for another season. The team signed the veteran forward to a one-year deal recently. The 33-year-old Crowder played in just 18 games with the Bucks last season after being traded from Phoenix. The Bucks have also signed second-round draft pick Chris Livingston to a four-year deal. Nice Sports at 14 and 44 yeah, minutes nice past each hour. I'm Morgan Wood on the Black Information I Network. Special thank you to Geico Insurance, a proud founding partner who shares and supports the mission of the Black Information Network. I'm Wesson Tashom with another essential black film. The semi-autobiographical tale of an up-and-coming musician comes to life in 1984's Purple Rain, starring music icon Prince as the struggling band leader in search of success in the vibrant Minneapolis music scene. Purple Rain showcases the multi-talented Prince who not only battles rival musician Morris Day for the affections of girl group leader Apollonia. Well, for starters, the extra purified stuff in the water is like in the top. 
also struggles with inner demons. The film's cast includes Clarence Williams III, Billy Sparks, and Jerome Benton, and features performances by Prince in the Revolution, Morris Day in the Time, and Apollonia 6. With only a $7 million budget, Purple Rain went on to gross over $75 million worldwide. The film also won an Academy Award for Best Original Song Score and was added to the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress in 2019. Considered one of the greatest musical films ever produced, Purple Rain is another essential black film. I'm Wesson Tishome for the Black Information Network. Entertainment news on the Black Information Network. Rapper Saweetie is the latest celebrity to be serenaded by Usher at his Las Vegas residency. is very heavy coming out of San Rafael or eastbound 580 slows at Sir Francis Drake and that sluggish pattern is going to stick with you out to mid-span. I want to hop over to Berkeley right now getting word of two cars involved in a crash. This is westbound 80 at Ashby. Looks like it's off to the right shoulder but we still see a slowdown that starts at Golden Gate Fields. Over to Menlo Park, we had an earlier crash on southbound 101 near Willow Road. They got that cleared, but traffic is still slowing down at Woodside. Also, in Santa Rosa, crews are dealing with an earlier solo crash eastbound Highway 12 at Hawk Road. That is off to the shoulder, but we still see traffic slowing down at Pythian Road. With Bay Area Traffic, I'm Ricky Batiste on the Black Information Network. America's trusted black voice. This is B.I. There she is. Hello?
I just told you where I'm at, you stupid bitch. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about you dumb Bible study. Damn. You fucking conservative bitch. Yeah, right here.